So this year in 2022, there has been advanced information about the exams. Now, the thing is, can you get the highest marks just by learning this stuff and revising that? No, you cannot. You have to, especially if you're doing A-levels, learn everything on the entire specification. Now, yesterday, there were AS physics exams for students in year 12, uh, and a lot of students doing AQA in particular found it quite difficult because there are questions there that in total were worth quite a lot of marks, but they weren't listed on the advanced information. Now, this is something that has always been kind of clear and transparent. The exam boards have said you should revise everything in the lead up to your exams at A level, but they're gonna tell you about some of the bigger questions and where those marks might be allocated. Now, the difficulty with AQA in particular was I think there were about eight marks in total to do with questions about waves and about five or six marks to do with materials. But each individual question was only worth one or two marks, which is a low tariff question. So it is completely reasonable for AQA to ask about anything that's covered in AS level, even if the total amount of marks for those is quite small in the exam. Now, for those of you, uh, especially A-level physics people, for those of you going into year 13 exams over the next few weeks, my advice has been, and, and actually I said this a few weeks ago as well, but it is to revise everything because you never know what might come up. Now, these low tariff questions could be multiple choice. There could be one or two marks here and there, and there could be some quite synoptic questions. And the best way to do that is make sure that you revise everything and go through whole past papers, because that past paper can ask you questions about any topic that comes up. So revising the advanced information only will not guarantee you the high grades. It will help and you make sure you definitely have to know everything that's mentioned on the advanced material, but you should also cover everything in the entire curriculum and expect anything on that specification could come up across the exam paper. Anyway, hopefully that's not panicking you. Hopefully that gives you, gives you plenty of time to make sure so there's anything you're not so familiar with, maybe you haven't covered in depth in class or maybe you've skipped so far in your revision, you've still got time to have a go at revising that. So by the time you get to your exams, you're gonna be good. Uh, don't forget, of course, if, uh, if you want any more help for A-Level Physics, go to alevelphysicsonline.com. You can find all of my videos there about every topic that you need for A-Level Physics. And uh, yeah, good luck. I hope it all goes well. Thank you.